So Matty, the injury didn't prove to be quite as bad as we ex- first thought. No, yeah, uh, thankfully it wasn't. It wasn't too bad. Um, like I said, I think it's a bit of fatigue from the the game on Saturday. And then Monday, I played on it, and it was sort of become a bit painful. So yeah, no, thankfully it wasn't too bad, and um, yeah, I'm back. How are you finding this uh, this division? Because you've sort of sampled quite a few divisions in your career. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. It's 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 tough. Um, it's definitely it takes a bit of getting used to. Um, or sort of teams, uh, a lot of teams sort of sitting behind the ball. Um, we have to find different ways to score goals, which we're doing very well at the moment. So, um, but no, yeah, it's a, it's a new challenge. And Chelmsford in particular proved to be a tough nut to crack. I mean, you know, how did you? What's your take on that? Yeah, well, it was tough. Um, like I said, you have to find ways to to break down teams that that sort of sit behind the ball. Um, but no, I think we've been doing very well at that. We've scored a lot of goals recently, so. Um, yeah, no, we're good. Do you find that the um, opposition's fitness levels are as good as ours or a lot less than ours? Yeah, you could. Uh, maybe towards the end of the games, um, such as a player, um, you can sort of feel it in the game when you're say, in the field and I'm running off my man and he's not sort of tracking me at, at the end of the game. That's when sort of it, it comes into play. But it's it's more of a mental thing really um if you t- if we turn up to the games and we're not mentally right um any team will will give us a good game so yeah and do you think that that could be why we get this sort of this last 10 minute syndrome where either we concede a goal or we score a goal yeah i think so yeah it's uh, like i said it's a uh, it's definitely towards the end of the games when you sort of see who who's the fitter team um and a lot of the time it is us. We have got a very fit squad, um, some players that can cover some, some mileage. So, yeah, no, it's towards the end of the game, that's when you really, really feel it. And uh, Saturday is Eastbourne Borough. What do you know about them? Are they going to prove a tough nut to crack as well? Yeah, every team's going to be difficult. Um, I think they've won their last two, I think. Um, and like I said, every club that or team that comes here, it's, it's going to be a big game for them. We're going to have a good crowd. Um, but no, I'm really looking forward to it. Do you think that the level of the crowd is proving a, a definite sort of twelfth man for you? Because we're getting pretty good crowds at Hewish Park and then 800 on uh, Tuesday night. It's pretty good. Yeah, definitely. Tuesday night was brilliant. Um, the atmosphere was was unbelievable. Um, like you said, it's, it's the twelfth man, uh, even at home, every week. When we, well, every time we're here, it's, it's just brilliant. It's nice to go out there um, at home. I love, personally love home games uh, purely just for, because of the fan base. So, yeah, no, it's been really good. And, Last question for me, really. Obviously, you prefer playing on grass, I'm guessing, because you play on grass here. Does it does it cause that much of an upheaval when you've got a plastic pitch to play on? It is difficult, I think. Um, like you said, those teams that do play on artificial, they probably train on it all week as well, so it's they're more used to it. Um, yeah. But yeah, definitely, I prefer grass. Uh, I think if you ask a lot of players, they would prefer grass. So, but yeah, no, it's just like I said, it's a different challenge again. Well, best of luck, Saturday. Cheers, Eddie. Thank you. I'm actually coming to watch you this Oh, Saturday, nice. So. Brilliant. <laughs> um, Matt, Mark Cooper referenced sort of the extra minutes and the schedule as a factor in the injury you picked up. All the extra stoppage time that's coming into the games at the moment, how are you finding that and, and does it make a difference to you, as, you know, when you get on the bus at the end of the games? Yeah, definitely when you get on the bus at the end of the games and you wake up the next morning, you, you feel it. But um, felt I, I'm not too bad because... It's a big part of my game, um, getting around the pitch. Um, and I like to do that. So, but yeah, I think it's Saturday Monday just come a bit too quick. Um, but no, thankfully it wasn't. The injury wasn't too bad. And Tuesday night, you made a few friends, particularly in the second half at uh, Western. Yeah. Um, what was it like being part of that atmosphere with that sort of level of noise right next to you on that touchline? Yeah, it's it's good fun. Um, yeah, I got quite a bit of abuse. Um, but no, it it makes the game much more enjoyable. It's 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 competitive. They want us to lose, um, and obviously they want their team to win. But no, after the game, it was I give them a little clap, and it was it was fun to play in front of them. And a bit of change in midfield lately, when Morgan Williams sat in behind and in, in sort of the base of the midfield. Are you surprised at how well he seems to have? adapted to that role he seems to just be able to play everywhere yeah no I'm not really surprised he's uh yeah like you say he's one of those players that you could probably stick him anywhere um and he'd do a job um but no he's, he's done really well there um definitely the defensive side I think he he sort of anchors that midfield really well um sort of obviously what Coops does as well um so yeah it's just different different options to have um the competition in the middle which is always good for us players
and I think you know Josh Alva's first start as well on Tuesday. What, what were your thoughts on playing alongside him? Yeah, no, he did really well. Um, it would have been tough for him. He hasn't played in a while, uh, but no, I thought he he did really well. And you've been around Hewish Park for a long time. You've been for a long time experienced you know the lows of the club just how different does it feel to you now this season compared to what we've been through before yeah it's massive um it's a complete change from from especially last year um i think in the summer I had lots of conversations with martin when he when he took over and the gaffer uh, i was really excited to to re-sign um, and i'm happy i've done that and i'm looking forward to what we can achieve this this season and, and last one from me you missed out last weekend what was it like watching from the sidelines? Does it give you a bit of a different perspective on how the team's playing? And you know, when you get back into the team, what sort of difference you can make to it? Yeah, it does. But I hate it. It's <laughs> it's awful. It's the whole build up of the game. You get, I, I turn up and um, no, obviously I can't play. So I'm watching the lads get ready for the game, and it's just it's awful. You can't affect the game. It's yeah, it's not nice. But yeah, like I said, it's it's nice to watch the lads and and sort of know what the gaffer would want in the next game. Um, so no, yeah, I, don't, I didn't really enjoy it, but it's one of those things. Cool, great, thanks very much. Good luck Cheers, this weekend. Man. Thank you. Cheers, guys.